prove that 0 factorial is equal to 1? Yan ang pag-uusapan natin ngayong araw. Manood, makinig, mag-enjoy at matu. What's up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Humor PH. Andito na naman ang pabibo ni yung guro na punong-puno ng humor and willing to give humor. Narito ako para tulungan ka na tulungan ng sarili mong matuto sa pamamagitan ng math pinadali, math pinasaya, at math pinaexciting na mathematics lesson. Now, if you find this video helpful, please wag na wag mong kakalimutan na mag-subscribe and i-click ang notification bell para mas marami ka pang video sa mapanood dito sa Humor PH. And please, ikwento mo ito sa mga kaibigan mo, sa classmates mo, teachers, parents, titas, titos, who needs this lesson as well. And, ayan, yun lang naman. <laughs> Without further ado, <laughs> let's get to our discussion. Hi everyone! Welcome sa lesson natin ngayong araw. So for today, pag-uusapan naman natin kung paano nga ba i-prove that 0 factorial ay equal sa 1. Ayan. So this is quite different from what we are having sa mga lessons natin before na merong humor jail. This time, proof lang tayo. Ayan. So ipoprove lang natin na yung 0 factorial talaga ay equal to 1. Ayan. So let's get this lesson started. Ayan. So, let's define muna factorial notation. So, para ma-refresh tayo. So, definition. Factorial notation is a shorthand for multiplication of list of consecutive, sunod-sunod, descending, pababa, natural counting numbers. So, yung counting numbers from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, ibig sabihin, yung kapag in-expand natin yung factorial notation, nagang 1 lang siya. Kasi siya yung pinakmababang counting numbers. And, ito ang representation niya. And factorial is equal to n times the quantity of n minus 1 and minus 2 up to 1. Ayan. Tandaan hanggang 1 lagi ang kapag in-expand yung factorial notation given sa atin. And ito yung kailangan natin i-prove. 0 factorial is equal to 1. So by definition, ayan talaga yon. 0 factorial is equal to 1. Now we're going to uh, prove. Ano nga ba talaga? Bakit nga ba siya naging 1? Ayan. So, let's prove that 0 factorial is equal to 1. Ayan. So, ito daw equal to 1. Now, para ma-prove yan, kakailangan ko yung tulong ng mga to. So, I need the help of 1 factorial, 2 factorial, 3 factorial, 4 factorial, 5 factorial, 6 factorial. So, ayan. So, kailangan ko yan. Kasi we're going to establish a pattern. Titignan natin yung pattern para dumating tayo, para ma-prove natin, yung 0 factorial ay 1 naman talaga. Alright. So, let's start by 1. Ayan. Siyempre, mamaya na yung 0 factorial. Kasi siya yung pinaprove natin. 1 factorial is equal to 1. Of course, ganun lang yan. Kasi wala naman yung multiply na iba. Siya naman kasi yung pinakadulong uh, counting number. Now, for 2 factorial, magiging siyang 2 times 1. Tama? Si 3 factorial kapag in-expand, although napakaraming ways to expand 3 factorial, pero yung, ano lang, yung buo. 3 times 2 times 1. Diba, last topic kasi we've discussed, ano-ano yung iba't ibang itsura when we expand 3 factorial or yung mga factorials. So, napakadami. And yun, very important na skill yun kasi kailangan nyo yun kapag nag-simplify na ng factorial. Lalo na sa mga lessons niya about permutations and combinations. So, you have to know those things. Next, 4 factorial. Ang 4 factorial starts sa 4 until 1. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Ang 5 factorial starts sa 5 until 1. 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Ang 6 factorial is equal to this one. 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Ayan. So, kung 6 factorial starts sa 6 hanggang sa 1. Sunod-sunod, consecutive at the same time, descending. Ayan. Siyempre, isosolve natin yan. Isimplify natin lahat. So, ang 1 equal to 1. Lagyan na natin. 2 times 1, that's 2. 3 times 2 times 1, ilan? That's 6. 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, that's 24. 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, that's 120. 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, that's 720. Now, from these answers, 720, 120, 24, 
6, 2, and 1. Hahanap tayo ng pattern. Ayan. Hahanap tayo ng pattern. And dun sa pattern na yun, mapuprove na yung zero factorial talaga ay equal sa 1. Ayan. So, let's have 720 versus 120. We have to ask, paano ko gagawing 120 yung 720? How would, one, how would 720 be, will become 120? Paano? Ibabalik natin siya pataas hanggang makarating tayo sa zero factorial. 720 para maging 120, tama ba to? Pwede ko siyang i-divide sa 6. Ayan. So, napakaraming ways. Pwedeng mag-minus, mag-plus, mag-divide, mag-multiply. Pero, I'll choose dividing. Kasi, at yung mga katulong sa atin to prove that 0 factorial is equal to 1. Kapag dinivide ko yung 720 sa 6, the answer will be, will be 120. Tama? You may double check. If you have your calculator, pwede mo siyang i-divide. Now, ibabalik ko naman yung 120 sa 24. And, for that to happen, kailangan ko siyang i-divide sa 5. If you have your calculator, you may solve that. 120, divide 24, the answer is 5. Now, e eh yung 24, paano ko naman siya i-akyat? Paano naman siya magiging 6? Magiging 6 yung 24 by the division method. Kapag nag-divide ako ng 4, Tama? So, I guess you're seeing the pattern. Now, yung 6, ibabalik ko sa 2. Paano? Para maging 2 yung 6, kailangan ko siyang i-divide naman sa 3. Again, be consistent. So, since nag-start tayo sa division, kailangan lahat yung division. Next, yung 2, paano siya magiging 1? Magiging 1 yung 2 kapag nag-divide ako ng 2 dito sa 2. Alright, so 2 divided by 2, the answer is 1. Now, etong susunod na pattern natin. Kasi wala pang sagot yung 0 factorial eh. Wala pa tayong i-compare. Now, ano kaya ang gagawin natin dito sa 1 para masolve natin yung sagot sa 0 factorial? Observe this pattern. Divide by 6, divide by 5, divide by 4, divide by 3. Divide by 2. At ganito yung naging process. 720 divide 6, naging 120. 120 divide 5, naging 24. 24 divide 4, naging 6. 6 divide 3, naging 2. 2 divide 2, naging 1. So, ibig sabihin, ang 1, i-divide ko saan? Saan? Observe this pattern. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I-divide ko siya sa... 1. Very good. So, sa 1 ko siya i-divide. So, ibig sabihin, 1 divided by, sorry, 1 divided by 1. The answer would be 1. So, that's it. So, yan ang reason kung bakit ang 0 factorial is equal to 1. That's the proof. Why is it that 0 factorial is equal to 1? And, if you are asking, sir, bakit walang negative factorial? Kasi ang kasunod dito, I-divide ko na siya sa 0. Diba? 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, ang susunod ay ang 1 divided by 0. And lahat ng numbers na over 0, that's undefined. Kapag may fraction na over 0, that's undefined. So, that's not defined in math. So, kaya walang negative factorials. Ayan. Is it clear? Alright. So, ganun po yun. Ulit. Sorry. So, ayan. So, 720 dinivide ko sa 6, naging 120. 120 dinivide ko sa 5, naging 24. 24 dinivide ko sa 4, naging 6. 6 dinivide ko sa 3, naging 2. 2 dinivide ko sa 2, naging 1. 1 dinivide ko sa 1, lumabas yung 1 factorial, or yung 1 as 0 factorial. So, ganun lang po yan. Kaya simple. Ayan. Now, meron pang isang way. We're going to use yung idea natin doon sa rewriting or expanding factorial notation which is our first topic about factorial ng introduction about factorial notation eto ang gagamitin natin etong dalawa so since pareho naman si 0 factorial sa kasi 1 
i-equate natin yung dalawa. Diba? 1 ang sagot sa 0 factorial, 1 din ang sagot sa 1 factorial. Ibig sabihin, pareho sila ng value. So, we'll prove that. Ayan. So, isa na yun sa proof, yung pinakita ko kanina, kung bakit 0 factorial ay 1. Ngayon naman, ipaprove natin yung 1 factorial is equal to 1. So, 2, 0 factorial. So, paano naman yan? So, eto, kaya natin ipaprove yan, kasi, lalabas din dito na yung 0 factorial ay 1 din. Kasi equal siya sa 1 factorial. Ayan. Now, familiar ba tayo dito sa form na to? So, if you watched uh, my video last time, so, yung introduction, dinefine natin si factorial notation at the same time, paano mag-expand? So, andun yun. Andito, andun ito. Formula na yan. So, this is other way of writing factorial. Now, yung 1 factorial. Yung 1 factorial, ang gagamitin natin, at kailangan natin mapalabas yung 0 factorial. Ganto yan. Diba? Kapag ganto, lahat ng n dyan magiging 1. So, kung tandaan nyo yung lesson natin last time, kapag 1 factorial, yung magiging n dito ay 1. That's why lahat ng uh, n, papalitan mo ng 1. Alright, then we'll continue. So, i-minus natin yung 1 minus 1. So, that will become 1 factorial is equal to 1 times 0 factorial. And atong form na to, pwede ko siyang i-rewrite as this one. 1 factorial is equal to 1 times 0 factorial. Now, identity property. ba? Kapag nagta-times tayo ng 1, hindi na aapektuhan yung minimultiply natin. So, when we multiply 1, the answer will be the 1 being multiplied. So, 1 times 0 factorial, magiging 0 factorial pa din. Hama? 0 factorial pa din yung magiging sagot. Just like 1 times 2, ang sagot ay 2. Diba? So, hindi na bago yung 2. Ito yung identity property. So, yung 1, nag-times tayo ng 0 factorial, 0 factorial pa rin yung magiging sagot natin. Ayan. And, that's it. Ito na. Lumabas na yung pinaprove natin. That 1 factorial is equal to 0 factorial. And we all know na ang 1 factorial ay 1, so, it goes the same with 0 factorial. Ibig sabihin, oo nga, tama nga. Ang 0 factorial talaga is equal to 1. Kasi nga, the same siya na magiging sagot sa 1 factorial. So, this is another proof kung bakit ang 0 factorial ay 1. Kasi nga, yung 1 factorial at 0 factorial ay iisa. Or pareho ng sagot. Ayan. So, that's how you prove uh, 0 factorial to be 1. So, ganun lang po yan. Kasimple. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a lot today. And I want to see you in our next video. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed and learned a lot today. And if you did, wag kang aalis na hindi ka nakakapag-subscribe and nakaklik ng notification bell. And also, don't forget that you deserve more. You can learn more. And you can be more. Hashtag you more PH. Bye bye. See you in our next video.